Birthdays are big events in a child's life. They mean presents and parties and, of course, a wonderful cake. But Johnny has asked for something special for his birthday. He wants to help make his own birthday cake. Well, what youngster doesn't wish to work in a bakery? All the wonderful aromas, fresh baked bread, exotic spices, fruits, flavorings, creamy butter, thick chocolate. Just this once, let's grant Johnny his birthday wish. The bakery Johnny chose is this new up-to-date plant in Northlake, a suburb of Chicago. It is one of two plants operated by the world's largest variety bakery. Master Baker has to dress like one. So Johnny gets help and advice from two of the Master Bakers who founded this firm more than 50 years ago. C.J. Burney at the left and George Burney. To bake quality products, you must start with quality ingredients. More than a thousand are used for various items baked in this plant. Each of these bins holds 110,000 pounds of flour, wheat, whole wheat, rye, cake flowers. Flour from various parts of the country are blended for balance. Flour is sifted seven times in this automatic sifter. The bin at the right holds 120,000 pounds of pure cane sugar. These vats hold 60,000 pounds of liquid shortening which is piped to various mixing areas in the bakery. Of course, every master baker has to know how to make bread. Here, the sponge method of making dough is used. Ingredients are blended scientifically. All these giant mixers go to work. The result is perfectly blended dough. It is kept in this holding room from four to five hours. Humidity and temperature are controlled carefully as the dough rises. Later, more sugar, 
milk and shortening are added, and the dough goes to the rising room again. Then it is ready for this complex, which cuts and rolls it automatically. After the bread rests for 10 minutes, it is rolled into pans. Next, it goes into these big stainless steel storage boxes. They're called proofing boxes. The bread is left to rise in the proofing box for an hour. Then it's ready for the oven. It takes 24 minutes to bake this mellow crust bread in this 100 foot oven one of five in this plant. Oven temperature is 450 degrees. The reason it takes so long in this high-speed age is that extra proportions of shortening and other ingredients are added which require longer baking to produce a richer, more flavorful loaf. You see, this is enriched bread, the finest bread. Important B vitamins such as thiamine, riboflavin, and niacin as well as food iron have been added without changing the taste or color or adding calories or cost. The top crust of the bread is cut to obtain a richer crust. Bread comes out of this oven at the rate of 2,400 loaves per hour. It is removed from the pans by a vacuum process. Then it is sliced, labeled, and wrapped in a self-sealing cellophane wrapper, all automatically. At the same time, there are many other delicious products being processed at this plant which operates six days a week around the clock. This is how jelly Bismarcks are formed. This machine perfectly forms egg rolls, one of 17 kinds of soft and hard rolls made here. There's a knack to braiding these twists for caramel pecan coffee cake. Cinnamon toast coffee cake, famous from coast to coast, comes piping hot from the oven. A favorite among the 28 coffee cakes created here is Danish cherry. It will be baked in these foil-lined trays. Now for the glazing with pure melted sweet cream butter. And the Streusel topping. Raised and caked donuts also are specialties of the house. First, the finest ingredients, milk, shortening sugar, eggs, flour, yeast, are blended to make the dough. A perfect donut every time. Frying time in this pure shortening is automatically controlled to ensure that the texture is just right. frosted, chocolate, cream sugar icing, eleven types of donuts are made here.
These French donuts look good, don't they? Taste even better. Like Simple Simon, Johnny meets the pie men and ladies. Here's how the crust is prepared. Right now, they're making cherry pies. If that's not one of your favorites, how about one bursting with golden apples or choice rhubarb? Now for the tender, flaky top crust. After a mixture of sugar and milk is sprayed on the top crust, they are ready for the oven. Baked to perfection. Whipped cream cakes, chocolate eclairs, and similar products are blast frozen to hold in all their fresh goodness. Brr. It's 32 degrees below zero in there. No, we haven't forgotten about Johnny's cake. It's been in the oven. That's the one, a golden yellow layer cake. Now it's ready for its birthday trimmings. You might say this is the art department. Here, men skilled in the fine art of decorating cakes provide that personal touch for each special order. Only pure vegetable coloring is used in these thick, creamy frostings. You have to know how to spell, too. On a busy weekend, these artists will decorate more than 1,200 cakes, each to an individual order. Johnny's cake is placed carefully in a carton and sent by conveyor to the order assembling area. Here, products are placed in aluminum delivery cabinets to fill orders for each store. Early the next morning, the cabinets are rolled into delivery trucks a large fleet of trucks delivers fresh baked goods to 120 retail stores daily. Another plant of this bakery, located in Chicago, serves the institutional trade. Other trucks often make two deliveries each day to ensure that fresh baked goods are delivered to hospitals, schools,
restaurants, hotels, motels, and other food service institutions. There are games, party favors, such as autographed baseballs from Johnny's favorite players. But what's a birthday party without cake and ice cream? Especially a cake you helped make yourself.